Thank you very much, Joe. Yes, we're here in Studio B. Live sessions brought to you by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. I'm Martin Anderson with a fine video crew here, the video students here at Isothermal Community College. You can watch this uh, live on our Facebook page as we're here with Kathleen Edwards, who joins us here this afternoon. Hello. Hi. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Welcome to Spindale and to WNCW. You've brought a fine guitarist with you, Mr. Colin Cripps, who Thank was... You. He was with you for a bunch of uh, records back in the day. Back in the day, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, Colin and I have been playing music again together, and he's playing with me this weekend at my shows, and I'm very lucky. Wonderful. Uh, uh, you are at the Great Eagle tonight in Asheville. Tomorrow you head to Carbro for the Cat's Cradle, and then on Saturday you're back in the WNCW area with a show at the Evening Muse in Charlotte. That's right. Playing songs perhaps like this one here. What do you want to start off with? Yeah, okay. Well, we'll... we'll We'll start with a song uh, called Glenfern, which is about a place where Colin and I actually used to live back mm. back in the day. <laughs> yes. One, two, three, four. Mm. in my neighborhood I wonder how I even got here It seems so long since those Hamilton days in the first house we bought together And the online street view used to crack me up It was you standing in your slippers Oh, on the front porch with the Siamese cat But it's not up there anymore But I think I went and I'll grow And now when I find myself looking back I think of all the cool stuff that happened Like we had a tour bus with a bed in the back We bought a rock and roll dream It was total crap Well, we toured the world and we played on TV We met some of our heroes It almost killed me
That is uh, Glenn Fern uh, live here on WNCW from Kathleen Edwards. The song that kicked off your uh, most recent album, Total Freedom, from back in 2020. And uh, what a great description of uh, of of your life in, in music up till then, in my opinion. It just like it showed everything, like the ups and the downs in that one. I guess that's pretty autobiographical. It, it, it's in, largely entirely. Well, I mean, my memory may not be the same as everyone else's, but that's what I remember. Yeah. Well, yes, it's, it's <laughs> and, your memory that what counts. <laughs> yeah. And when I, when I started writing music again, it was on the heels of having theoretically quit music. And part of the reason I quit was just because the joy of writing and everything that was kind of showing up when I, I would try to write was really heavy and dark and unhappy and, so when I started to write again, this is the song that revealed itself. And, you know, it was it's a song of, frankly, of gratitude, of having taken the time to, like, kind of digest all of the things that I had been through in the first 15 years of my music life, which was a lot to unpack. And, um, you know, Colin played a huge role in that. And mm-hmm. so it was kind of a thank you for for making sure I didn't die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're talking about like, oh, I met some of our stars and we had this great tour bus and all. And yet, yeah, it almost killed me. Like, like the music industry can do sometimes with that hard touring and the rough life, too many whiskeys and such. Yeah. But, yeah. I, you know, the whiskey's not the problem. It's right. tour bus life. Just kidding. <laughs> you know, people will see the like, you know, the, the glamorous tour bus rolling by. Oh my gosh, they're living the dream. Well, you know, add 10 dudes and a toilet doesn't work, and five shows in a row and you blew your voice out, it's not that pretty anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it's uh, hard work. It's indeed, hard work. and uh, a long time doing that. Um, talking about uh, back in the day and such, so like we mentioned at the start of this session, happy anniversary. I think we could still call it the anniversary. The 20 years ago, their very first album came out, Failure, the one that, that launched the tour buses and tours and late nights mm-hmm. and such. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it was a little bit... Actually, Colin and I were together. We were playing a show in Florida a couple weeks ago, and it occurred to me that it was the the week that we... that Failure came out in the United States in 2003. And, you know, we marked that it, that moment by playing on the Letterman show 20 years ago. It was yeah. a huge deal, and it was the beginning of a pretty epic ride. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and, you know, we're still here. Have you... Uh do you revisit that album or your older stuff every once in a while? I did uh, this past spring. Obviously, uh, you know, COVID and and the limited travel thing really impacted the fact that I put out a record in 2020. So normally I would go and go to radio stations and I would play shows. And obviously that when that didn't happen, it felt a little bit like starting... It kind of felt like I didn't put a record out at all and... and um, and I played some of my first shows in the spring of this past year in 2022. Mm-hmm. And uh, I did some shows in Nashville, a little basement bar called The Basement. And I was by myself and I just decided to kind of go through some of that first album and pick some songs that, frankly, I'd forgotten even how to play. So I have gone back into the vault and uh, and sort of learned some, some songs from that record. Yeah. I imagine and- there are some songs that you wrote back in the day that uh, still stick with you, you still love them maybe, and then there are ones that you maybe, well, you're done with, you don't really feel attachment to anymore. Yeah, I think it's one know? of those things like, it's kind of probably like looking, if you keep old journals or you you find a notebook from when you're in high school and you flip through it and you feel like you're looking at a version of yourself that, that you know existed but you don't recognize it. There's a little bit of that feeling of like, wow, that was me, but I, I, I don't remember... I remember that she was, that it happened. I just don't necessarily feel like that, I recognize that person anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you, the songs from Failure and then the ones that, that followed, they still have a lot of relevance with us here at WNCW. That, that was one of our favorite uh, debuts ever to oh, get that one some kind. 20 years ago. I loved uh, hearing and seeing some of the reflections that some of your fans had on your, your Twitter page. You have you have a fun Twitter page, <laughs> Kitty the Fool, uh, yeah. and uh, you, you had some folks uh, submit their reflections on it. Anyway, happy anniversary for that.